this is the Fiat Panda Cross, and for its looks alone, you'd think it would justify its position here. It's a really cool looking car, but that's not actually what it's about. What it's about is the fact that it is the only proper compact four wheel drive car that you can buy. Now, why is that important? Well, when the weather gets bad and the going gets tough, we all know that four wheel drive really helps, but those compact dimensions and the light weight that comes with this car are crucial factors too. And when it comes to those compact dimensions and lightweight, there is nothing but nothing with four-wheel drive that is more compact or lighter than this. So what is it about this Panda that makes it so excellent in its chosen bad weather environment? Well, really, a tiny little science lesson is needed here. It's all about the mass of the car. The more mass a car has, the harder the car has to work. It's harder the tyres have to work to make the car accelerate, to make the car slow down, and to make it change direction. If you have a light car, the tyres get to do less work, therefore they have more grip. It really is as simple as that. And this is an extremely light car, probably the lightest proper 4x4 you can drive. Therefore, its tyres have the least work to do, therefore it will go places others will not. It really is as simple as that. So what does this Panda have to offer for those occasions which frankly is most of them when there's not six inches of snow lying on the ground? Well, objectively, you know, the car is not difficult to criticise, but it's a Fiat Panda, it's a very cheap car. And what we would like to focus on is just the fact that it's so much fun. It's great fun to look at and it has this sort of cheeky charm that Pandas have had for decades and this latest version is no different at all. There are many people who live maybe with difficult access or they've got a tricky commute to the station who think to themselves, I have to have a big SUV because that'll get me through the bad weather and that'll keep me safe. And that may well be the case. But you may also be able to do all of those things for a fraction of the price in a car like this. You won't want to take it on the holiday to the south of France, but if all you're going to use it for is short journeys, school runs, going to the shops, and you need that extra degree of off-road ability, there really is nothing out there that can touch this Fiat Panda. Thank you.